Hello everyone, so I don't think I've ever made a video like this before, but I figured I maybe should for this. So the reason why I'm making this video is to show off this little device that I've made. And as you can probably hear, maybe realize it's basically a portable Geiger counter. As you can see, there is a Geiger cube in here. So what does it do? It basically me measures radiation. If you look at this screen here, let's slightly focus on it. It basically measures counts per minute. Each count equals a single particle hitting this cube on the front. So what are the features of this neat little device? First things first, as you can see and here it's clicking on each count. The clicks are actually flashes on this LED on the back. But you can also actually disable the sound by pressing on this little button using the other hand to record. Okay, as you can now see and hear, there is no longer any sound associated. So let's turn it back on. The other thing you can do is you can disable the screen by pressing the trigger. As you can see, the screen is now turned off, but it still, still does its counting. Okay. So let's turn it back on. The other thing you can do is reset the counter by holding the trigger down for some time. There we go, as you can see it returned to zero. The counter will actually return to zero on its own. Let's zoom in on the display a little bit to see what it's showing. As you can see it's currently counting and there's also a countdown on the top and once the, this reaches zero it will actually reset back to zero as well. And it will store the data on the previous section on the bottom. Let's see if I can get it a little bit better. There we go. The previous section on the bottom will actually show the previous um, calculation, like the actual radiation that was accumulated in the previous minute, which is, as you can probably figure out, also a very useful piece of information. Okay, so uh, let's wait 12 seconds for it to count down to one minute. There we go. Okay, as you can see, it actually filled up the previous section with some info, including counts per minute and micro sieverts per hour. This value is actually quite commonly used with radiation basically signifies the exposure amount. What I'm measuring currently is just background radiation. It's completely natural. There are different gases in the Earth's atmosphere that naturally has low amount of radiation that this is picking up. Okay, so uh, what else can it do? It can actually, as you can see, display the battery in the top. You've probably seen that. So it actually does work from the battery built in. The other thing it can do is connect to Wi-Fi. You use this button on the bottom to connect to the Wi-Fi. So let's see how this works. If I hold it for three seconds. There we go. As you can see, it's connecting to the Wi-Fi currently. What it will now do is it will actually dump the data onto my website so I can view it later. You have on my screen the previous data and it should now update any moment. Mm, I think that was it. But yeah, basically it sends the data to the website. It's probably a funny coincidence that it was exactly the same like the previous minute. Anyway, this data in the history is basically the data that it gathered in the previous hours. So you can see, you can, for instance, like carry it with you around, check how radiation changes in different parts of the world and stuff like that. Okay, uh, obviously you can turn it off using this button on the top, click. Now it's completely turned off. Click again. It will boot back up and reconnect to the Wi-Fi. Okay, what else can it do? It has a nice little charging port on the bottom here. 
so I can get a cable like this. Plug it in. This is a bit awkward to do with just one hand. Ah, there we go. As you can see, another LED lit up, signifying that it's charging. So you can just have it charge up, having. You can just like completely charge it up, have it on maximum charge, carry it around, stuff like that. Okay, so on the website itself, you've probably seen this little peak. So I do have a way of testing if it's working correctly. So let's try it now. I have a small amount of uranium glass here. This is considered radioactive, but it's completely legal actually. You can find a lot of antiques made out of this, different types of glassware, stuff like that. It basically has trace amounts of uranium in it. It's definitely more than background radiation, but it's not really dangerous to humans or lethal, lethal or anything. So let's put it like this on the table, and as you can see, I have to physically press against it to get a better reading. Yeah, that happened. Okay, so as you can see, it's really going crazy now. Definitely more than on background radiation. You can reach some decent values like this. As you can see, we're already over 130. We used to get like 20, 30 on normal background radiation. But that's about it. So this portable Geiger counter basically lets you measure radiation all over the world if you want to. And that's pretty much all I wanted to show. Thanks for watching.